Okay, so here's a scenario we basically have um, in plan. So if I switch over to a top view here in the 3D view, uh, we have these walls curving in plan. We need to place a gable roof on top of these walls that follows that footprint. And your first inclination, of course, is to do a roof by footprint and then have the boundary lines here define the slope. Um, but when you finish uh, the boundary sketch, the sketch mode for the roof, Revit freaks and says can't do it. So you have to basically discard the roof by footprint method to get a, a gable roof on, that follows the footprint here uh, of this uh, uh, of this particular scenario. Uh, the next option you might consider is roof by extrusion, but roof by extrusion extrudes in one direction. It won't follow kind of a sweep. It doesn't have that sort of capability of a, like a path, a pick path type of thing. Uh, so that that you have to discard that as well. So um, you could potentially, I suppose, model it in place. That would work. I think the best method, though, to create uh, your roof would be to do it uh, roof by mass. And it's really not that hard to do. What we'll do here is we'll switch to an elevation view. And we need to draw a couple reference planes. So the first reference plane will be uh, here at the top of the wall, it's basically a bearing height. I'll just pick the top of the wall here and stretch it out. And we'll give it a name because uh, we're going to be using this as a work plane later. So select the reference plane, go to properties, call it top of wall, click apply, and that's good. Now I'm going to switch to another elevation view, one of the ends here. And in this view, we're going to kind of figure out the the uh, where the peak is going to be. So it's a little bit old school in the sense that we're going to be just drawing here. Uh, used to do this all the time with <laughs> in CAD. Uh, 12 inches, not 12 feet, 12 inches. And then close it there. So I'm drawing a little triangle on each end. Do the same over here. 7 inches up. 1 foot over. Oops, undo. It's got to be straight. Okay, let me do that again. Detail line, one foot, and then close it. And then, of course, we just trim these together. And that's where our peak is going to be. I'll draw another reference plane. That's the whole reason I'm doing this exercise, is to get the height of this reference plane. And we'll call this reference plane roof peak or roof ridge or whatever makes sense. Okay. So, we've got those two reference planes created. Now, let's go to a plan view because it's probably going to be easiest to work in the plan view. And, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's the, the eave line, there's the, the roof ridge line in plan. And so what we'll do is we are going to um, uh, uh, go to the massing and site tab. We could here a couple ways, but we'll do it this way, mass, uh, massing and site tab, and then in place mass. And we'll call it roof mass. And we're going to set the work plane here to be that reference plane uh, top of wall. And then we'll pick lines. We'll pick the lines here for the basically the outside. And I want to make sure that I'm at top of wall. I just like to verify that twice. And then we'll draw this to kind of close it off. Oops, and I missed it by a little bit. They're kind of overshot. There we go. So we should have a nice closed chain of line lines there. That's going to be the base of the roof. And then uh, I, we're going to create the peak of the roof by setting the work plane this time to the roof ridge. Clicking OK and picking the what would be the ridge line. And then it will modify to get out of that. Now we need to create the form or the mass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these elements. This will bring up the Create Form tool. I'll click on that. And then once that's done, I'll finish the mass. And we'll take a look at it here in 3D to see if we were successful. And there we go. So you see that we've got essentially the geometry that we need. But we want this to be the roof element, whatever roof type you're using. I just went ahead and kind of created a 5-inch roof, generic roof type, but again, you use whatever roof 
type that you're uh, after. And, and to, to do so, what we'll do is we'll go back to the Architecture tab, Roof by Face, and then we'll select the faces. But before I do that, let me make sure I've got the right roof type. So I'll select the 5 inch basic roof. And I'll just select these these uh, these faces. And I'm holding down my control button so that way I get I can do multiple select. And once I've got all those selected, I hit the create roof tool and hit modify. And there's our, our roof geometry. You can hide the mass roof or delete it, whichever makes sense for you. And there's our there's our, our basic roof. And it's like any other roof. We can then attach our walls to the roof if we need to. But you know we've got that uh, basically the the geometry that we need using Revit elements, Revit family, uh, Revit system families.